Many people don't know that not creating a second user account on their computer makes them exposing their private data to intruders. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new user account in Windows 10. Creating a second user account on your computer is a sure way to secure your computer. Like creating a user account for your children or others that share your computer with you. This will make them to use the computer the way they want, but their activities will not affect your private data. For example, they can use your web browser to browse the internet, but if they make attempt to view the username and password that you stored on those browser, they'll be prompted for a password. So without saying much, let's get started. For many computer owners, when they switch on their computer, it loads straight to the desktop, which is not a good idea. Before I start, let's secure the computer by adding a password to the current user account so that each time the computer is switched on, it will prompt the user for a password. By doing this, you are protecting your information from any unauthorized persons. To do this, press the Windows key and I key together. This will take us to the settings window. Go to accounts, sign in option, password, and click add. Enter the new password for the user account and confirm it. You can put a password hint, this is optional. Then click next and finish. With this, when you log out or restart your computer, it will prompt the user for a password. Now the computer is more secured. I will create a test file and name it confidential. This file will be saved on the desktop of the current user which is Jonathan. Also, I will change the theme for this user to differentiate it from the second user account we are going to create. So let's create a second user account. To start, we will go to the settings by pressing the Windows key and I key together. Click on accounts, family and other users. Add someone else to this PC. Enter the name for the user. Then the password and security questions are optional. Then click next. The new user account will be added to the other user list as you can see here. I will sign out of the current user account. Then I will log in with the new user account. Windows will set up the new user environment on the first login. I will deselect these features for tutorial purpose. And finally, we are logged in. If you notice, the confidential file I created on the desktop of the other user is no longer here. This is because this user can't see or access it. But if I log in with the Jonathan account, I will be able to access the file. By default, new user accounts are set to standard user. This means that they have limited access in the computer. They are restricted from having access to other users' information and can't make major changes like installing apps on the computer. This is why it is good to create a secondary account on your computer for those that shares 
your computer with you. You can upgrade the user account to an administrator by changing the account type. But this is not recommended except you want the user to also have access to everything in the computer. I will leave the account type on standard user. With the standard user type, even if they can use your web browser, they can't see the username and password saved in them if they try to. For example, if I switch back to Jonathan's account, I can view the password stored in the browsers by entering my password But with the Chelsea account, I can see the password. I guess you now know how to create a new user account on Windows 10 and also why you have to create one. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button and also share. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.